1943, General DeWitt, who mm -hmm. was the uh, commanding general of the Western Defense Command, who was greatly responsible for, for the uh, exclusion of Japanese Americans, wrote a book called Final Report, Japanese Evacuation from the West Coast, 1942. Actually, his name appears as the author, mm -hmm. but we know <laughs> that it was Colonel Carl R. Bendetson who did the writing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell, there's just no question about it when you read, mm -hmm. the, uh, when you go through the archives, that he was the total architect. Mm -hmm. And I think Mr., uh, Colonel Bendetson was also the architect of Executive Order 9066. We have some documents that almost <laughs> Unquestionably, I don't think you even have to read between the lines to realize that it was he who, in conjunction with Mr. McCloy and uh, Provost Marshal General Gullion, they are the makers of EO 9066. Mr. Roosevelt just signed it, but of course he approved of it, <laughs> mm -hmm. so he signed it. Okay, now General DeWitt issued, uh, wrote this report, and I'm going to use the word. I don't think I want to use DeWitt. I think I'm going to use Vendetson because mm -hmm. I think he's primarily responsible. Mm -hmm. The final report, in the name of General DeWitt, was written by Vendetson. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm repeating that. Okay, in 1943, ten copies of this report were printed. Type was set, but only ten copies bound mm -hmm. like a finished product. Mm -hmm. And Colonel Vendetson and General DeWitt were so sure that it was such a wonderful report that they told the printers, don't break down the type, just leave it as it is, we're going to give you orders for more prints. Mm -hmm. Well, they sent copies, three copies to the Secretary of War, three copies to Chief of Staff George Marshall, and uh, copies to Mr. McCloy, Assistant Secretary of War McCloy. And, uh, or two copies, I guess. And they saved a couple of copies in the Western Defense Command headquarters at Presidio, San Francisco. Okay. When Mr. McCloy saw this report, he hit the ceiling. He said, some of the statements in this report are not, do not reflect the policy of the War Department. Mm -hmm. And it was not right for the general to make these statements without clearing with us. And so he called long distance Mr. McCloy, who was in charge of the Japanese question mm -hmm. for the War Department. And Mr. Stimson, the Secretary of War, did everything Mr. McCloy said, because he felt this was the expert. Mm -hmm. He's going to take care of it. Well, Mr. McCloy called Mr. Bendetson, Colonel Bendetson, and raised hell with him. Mm -hmm. He said, how, you know, you can't do this. this this report is just nothing but a self-serving, self-aggrandizement document for the general. And besides, there are several things he says in here that show mm -hmm. what, was, what happened to the Japanese Americans was based on racist, racism, mm -hmm. bigotry. And we cannot have an official document with an approval of the War Department <laughs> stamp on it mm -hmm. published for public consumption for international <laughs> reading that's full of this kind of nonsense. Even though Mr. McCloy may have believed that all the things written in there, he didn't want it in print for ridicule and for criticism mm -hmm. later. And one of the things, for example, that I did not mention during the session mm -hmm. that he, Mr. McCloy objected to was that the report said Japanese Americans were removed from the West Coast because no matter how long it took, we would never be able to determine whether or not they are loyal to the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. McCloy said, now, if that is not a racist, bigoted, <laughs> bigoted uh, statement, what is? And uh, Mr. Uh, General DeWitt's statement also said, well, we, had to, we didn't have time to separate the sheep from the goats. That you know put us in such a category of subhuman mm -hmm. uh, nature. Even Mr. McCloy objected to that. Mm -hmm. 